Hello friends. So today we have a quick uh, video. This is an alternate design. Uh, you may recognize it from a previous video. In the previous video I made this thing. I called it the water gyroscope. Um, it would balance in a stream of water and spin uh, just like a gyroscope. Uh, hence the name. This one was 3D printed with a regular uh, 3D printer, the um, the layer by layer one, I forget what it's called, like the PLA um, printer. So yeah, hopefully you've seen that video. The new uh, product here, it's the same thing really. What I did is I just cut it in half and then I resin printed it instead of using the typical um, FTM, I think is what it's called. The, basically the layered uh, printing method where you have a mechanical uh, printing head and you make layers, you build layers up like a cake kind of thing. Whereas with the resin printer, it uses uh, light, um, UV light to solidify a liquid and layer by layer and thereby uh, you can create much finer much thinner uh, layers uh, with much greater detail than you can with the old school um, 3D printers. So yeah, so I created uh, this one, this thing, and here is my first try, but I kinda, I made the tubes, like they're hollow, but I made this one, uh, the walls too thin. So it kind of uh, collapsed, like there's holes in it and it's uh, kind of a failed print. There's deformations, and um, so this one is a failed uh, attempt. The bottom of it has nothing on it, whereas uh, this one, there's a little, um, basically a needle tip. I, I cut a needle in half, kind of, and glued the tip of it on the bottom for uh, improved or reduced um, resistance. And I tried the same thing as before. I stuck it in a stream of water and it does spin and it does uh, briefly um, balance in the stream of water, but it wants to fall out. And so the reason for that is that it's uh, most of the weight is in the tip, I think, and it's too far away from the base. So there's a greater tendency for it to want to um, wobble and fall out of alignment. I wasn't really uh, thinking of making this as a gyroscope like the previous uh, version. The point of this one was ex exclusively to act as a kind of turbine, either with water or air. And I'm copying, uh, for the most part, uh, Victor Schauberger's design. It's in one of Callum Coates' uh, books. Uh, Schauberger used um, this design as a turbine. He he directed a stream of water like from a, from a small dam, I believe, in the woods. And he directed it onto this thing, which was hooked up to a motor. And he says it was something, um, I think it was 900% more efficient than conventional turbines. So he was able to get uh, way more electricity than the conventional um, hydroelectric turbines, turbine dams are able to get. So I haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, like to hook it up to a, an electric motor and, and to measure it and all of that. I'm just playing with it at this point. So the water experiment kind of failed because it wasn't able to um, to uh, free stand or whatever you call that. So what I did is I put a little wash on the top of it and the bottom I have kind of the bottom of like a can of uh, of uh, some drink, so I'm just gonna blow on it and we will watch and see what happens. So there you have it. So uh, this design is a little bit flawed. The needle I glued on the bottom, it's not, it's probably not perfectly um, centered. It, 
what I'm going to do in the next uh, version of this design is make a little hole in the bottom so that the needle can perfectly slide in and I can glue it and it'll be perfectly aligned. Therefore, it won't want to wobble or anything. And also um, with the base, I'll just show you with this one. Okay, so yeah, with the base, I'm going to attach the shaft to the tubes because right now, as you can see, it's very wobbly. The resin isn't very um, hard. It's kind of a little bit soft. Even though I cured it with a curing um, oven, uh, resin is, isn't um, just isn't as hard as uh, the old school um, PLA type prints are. So I'm just going to attach the shaft to the tubes in, in a future version and create a hollow tube down the middle of this um, central cylinder so that the needle can slide into it and then I can glue it and so uh, that will be the improved design and then I'll try it again in the water stream and then also in an air stream and then ultimately uh, connect it to a um, whoops connect it to an electric motor and see how well um, see how well it works like how uh, how much how much electricity the thing produces and then maybe compare it to like maybe a miniature design of a, a hydroelectric um, the conventional uh, turbine whatever that looks like I don't know uh, thanks for watching and see you all again next time bye for now